And so love that you direct towards yourself is partly directed towards that maternal care that's sort of the minimum precondition for basic flourishing combined with an attitude of encouragement towards the possibilities of your being. And so that's a much more sophisticated so-called self-love, partly because it's the kind of love that envisions you as something that unfolds across time. And it's, it's a much richer conception because it also implies that there's a responsible adventure to your life. You're not all you could be, and there's pain in that. And there's the necessity for a certain amount of judgment about that, and even a certain amount of exclusion, because what you are that is insufficient, in some sense, should be not be allowed to propagate. But if it's conjoined with encouragement, it's like, yeah, you're in a rough situation there, kiddo, but, you know, here's some things about you that are virtuous and good, and they're pretty powerful, actually, and if you just made those more manifest, you could dispense with a lot of this immaturity and misery, and you could expand yourself out into life physically and psychologically, and you could start walking this pathway that makes things better. And the thing is that as soon as you start walking the pathway that makes things better, then things immediately become better because your whole orientation changes. And you know, if you're in a bad place, but you're escaping, that's pretty positive. Even if it's a bad place and you might think, well, it's still bad, but it's better.